the 1100 LFC is Meyer Sound's new low frequency control element. It's gonna be used in systems. It's our new product. We're not calling it a subwoofer. Uh, it does operate in the low frequencies, but subwoofers having their own connotation. This is much more about controlling and being able to manipulate the directionality of low frequency control uh, through these linear elements. It's been a long quest to get speakers to become more linear. You know, there was a lot of subwoofers, you know, uh, people are looking for a kind of a sound. That's why there's so many different kinds. This, we're looking to have no sound, you know, so it's kind of an engineering approach because it's not a popular approach because most people are looking to have enhancement even in the movie theaters. And we're trying to move away from that and, and have the effects done upstream by how they mix it and do that, and then we would then just reproduce the sound. So we're, we're not saying that those enhancements are, are not correct. We're just saying we don't want them in the speaker. And so if you remove it, it's like removing salt from the soup, then you have to give people some way of adding it back in. We're not making the statement that linearity is best. Linearity is just a way of controlling. This is kind of like going from a point-shoot camera to a camera that has lots of lenses. It's a little bit more complex, but you can do more things. Now we feel the time is right to start introducing elements that can allow more sophisticated solutions than we've been able to offer in the past. Meyer Sound has always tried to make systems that stayed linear and stayed very well under control, that headroom is very important. The 1100 LFC is going to be a great tool for those people on Milo systems out there, MICA systems. Since our education program has been going for all these years, a lot of our users have been doing incredible things with low frequency control and they could use more headroom, they could use more power so they can use less elements so that they can work directly with us on creating some patterns that'll keep that success that they found going. You couldn't have done this 10 years ago even very well. We were taking Cray computers and really hard. It takes a lot of calculations. These things are very complex functions, but digital is running at billions of operations a second. Once you get a math worked out, you can then simulate these things. So I think the Real revolution will happen in the digital world if we give them a clean slate to play back on, you know, because then a lot of people can participate because they don't have this loudspeaker that they're trying to fight through. What makes people turn their heads about the 1100 LFC hopefully are the same things that make them turn their heads about Meyer Sound itself. Why is this neat? It's more power and more headroom, more linearity and higher fidelity than you've ever had in low frequency reproduction. And that's a lot to be excited about.